join me in giving a warm welcome to Miss Laura Scott. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm really excited to be here today. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing EFT tapping today. Um, can you guys hear me okay? Is my, I hear you great. My, okay. Um, so EFT tapping or emotional freedom technique uses the meridians or the acupressure or the acupuncture points of the body to send a calming signal to the brain. So what it does is it helps you get out of the fight or flight response. The amygdala, when you're in this, um, when you're having a lot of anxiety or you're um, experiencing anything that um, is quite negative, any negative pattern, anything that you're kind of experiencing that is not so great, um, when you actually press on these points, um, it helps to lower the stress and the cortisol um, and you actually feel a lot better in your body. So um, what we're gonna be focusing on today, we always focus on an MPI. So an MPI or a most pressing issue is something that um, is really the most pressing issue in your, in your life. So whatever is bothering you the most. So what we do with tapping is we tap on the negative first. We tap on the negative to not to ingrain it, but to actually release it. So we're actually voice giving a voice to what's already in our head. We're giving a voice to all the negative thoughts, all the things that are already kind of going on in our head that are quite negative. Um, and we're actually voicing it out so that we can release it. We move from a negative to a more neutral to a more positive. So the goal at the end is to, is to lower your number. So we're actually going to rate our numbers. So on a scale from one to 10. And today's focus is going to be on stage fright. So when we talk about stage fright, a lot of people think, you know, I'm not a performer. I don't really sing in, in front of people. I just kind of do this for fun. And that's completely okay. Stage fright can actually encompass a lot of different things. Stage fright can be being afraid to sing in front of one person. I mean, maybe, maybe you just sing to your cat um, and that is like something that causes stage fright for you. Um, really what we're gonna be focusing on is, is the stage fright itself, is the fear and anxiety of performing, of singing, of getting up there and doing your thing because you're afraid of what people are gonna think of you. And really, um, really singing is for everyone. I mean, everyone is a singer, everyone is a performer. I really, I really truly believe this because for me, um, I actually have a background, like, like they said before, um, I have a background, I went to school for theater, but it was mostly behind the scenes. And then I kind of came back to performing. Um, and I, for the longest time, I was so afraid to perform. I was so afraid to get up in front of people because I didn't feel like I was a singer. I felt like um, I didn't quite have, you know, the skills and the, the talent that other s professional singers had. But once I started actually getting up there and doing it, um, I really found that it brought me so much joy. So really, this this whole exercise is really just to um, just to really bring you more joy, to to allow you to let go of the fears, so that you can actually step into um, being being happy about singing, being um, excited to perform, being excited to sing in front of people. Um, and the only really cautions that I have, so um, this is really, it's a, it's a really good tool. It's really helpful. Um, but if you have, if maybe you've had a traumatic event that happened when you were performing, um, that's the only caution that I would say is that it might, it's not, um, it's not anything bad. It just might bring up more um, things for you. And what you do is then you tap on it later. 
So you continue using the tapping. Um, so the only thing that I would caution is it may it may trigger if you had a really traumatic event performing where you messed up and you you know you had something um, bad happen while you were performing. The only caution I would say is it might trigger that. And then um, I would just encourage you to either do the tapping again. Um, Chrissy, you can get the re people can get the replay of this. They sure can. Yep. Okay. Because it's actually really good to go to keep going back so that you can actually lower your number more. Um, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to like explain. Maybe um, talk a little bit about um, this what what tapping can do for people because um i know some people are like really skeptical about this they're like what do you mean like i'm gonna tap on my face like what is this what does this all mean um but uh there it there have been studies for people that have ptsd in the military that have done tapping that have significantly lowered their stress their um their ptsd um what they've been experiencing it is a really powerful tool and it is something that you can use for so many different things in your life. It doesn't have to necessarily just focus on stage fright or focus on what we're focusing today. So I think that's pretty much um, what I want to talk about with the tapping. Um, does anyone have any questions? Because I'm going to go over the tapping points and then we're going to get into the tapping. Does anyone have any questions first? Yes, actually, I do. Could you, could you repeat what the, the purpose of the number was for? I forgot what you said. Oh, about okay. Yeah, I'm actually going to, I'm going to repeat that while we're doing it oh, too. Okay. So, okay. so the, um, the number is, is the rating of the MPI. So oh. our most pressing issue and our most pressing issue today is going to be on stage fright. So we rate that on a scale from one to 10. So 10 being we have a lot of stage fright, like we're just like petrified and terrified to like perform. And one being, we're not really that afraid. So we rate our number in the beginning so that we can know where we're at. And then we rate our number at the end. So um, we can see how it's lowered after afterward. Are there any other questions? Like we're good cool okay so i'm gonna go over the tapping points and then we'll get into the tapping oh somebody said in the comments a question i don't know um yes yeah, Andrea, hi. or yes yeah there you go it's me hi hello i'm andrea hi. talking to you from venice italy oh hi and, uh, i can't see you <laughs> like mm -hmm. Who's talking? <laughs> oh yeah, uh, here I can spotlight him too. Last, okay, yeah. you can spot me. Thank you very much. Um, when you were talking about this, like the, this numbers from one to ten, I was mm -hmm. thinking about it. I'm, 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 wait, I'm actually like I'm a singer. I'm a performer. I'm a graduate graduated musical theater performer. And when I go on stage, often it happens that before the sing or while I'm singing. It's not that I'm afraid, I'm more afraid of my judgment, actually, and my expectations on myself rather than what the, what the public is thinking. I'm like, fuck that. Like, what I think mm -hmm. is my standard, I want to, even if for my mom or for my colleagues, they, they come to me and say, hey, you sounded great, what a performance. And most of the time, like, yes, thank you. But internally, I'm like, no, this is not even what I was imagining, what I was preparing and uh i've actually understood that i'm a kind of very hard judge like with myself i'm all constantly punching me down i don't know for yeah. a reason or another i've just realized this right now that we're talking and uh i don't know if there's something that i could do with it like if i can use those these numbers mm -hmm. to make, like more like how, how, how many expectations i have I have from myself. So this is probably one of the most common things that people, um, we are our worst critics and um, the judgment of ourselves of, especially from performing or for getting up and um, kind of doing it 
I'm actually going to address that when we're doing the tapping. So um, a lot of the focus is sometimes it's really it's stage fright of um, of ourselves of performing. But really, a lot of it is the judgment of ourselves, the judgment of I'm not good enough. I'm not going to, you know, even if we we do the performance and then at the end, we're just like, I don't think I did a good job. And, you know, that it that's so common. It is one of the most common things that um, people experience is the criticism and the judgment of ourselves. And tapping is such a good tool to get to help get out of the way so that we get out of our own way and that we can start actually, I know it's so cliche, but we can start loving ourselves because really a lot of this has to do with judgments of ourselves and really starting to realize that we're judging ourselves harder than other people are judging us. And once we start to kind of like love ourselves more, we can actually perform, we can, we can do the things that we love with joy without having those um, criticisms about ourselves. Actually, yes, I don't remember the last time that I've actually, I really don't remember the last time that I've actually enjoyed what I was doing. Like for me, it was like all kind of numbers, performance, work, ta 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 ta, ta like that, since yeah. I started to do the academy and stuff. So actually, and it just makes me so sad now that I'm thinking about it, that it's like, like come on, yeah. go back to the roots. Yeah, thank you I, very much. For this. I really appreciate you sharing this too, because this is this is a topic that we could all talk about for so many days. And I, I, feel, I feel your pain of that. And it should yeah. be joyful, especially if you do it, you know, it's like you are it. And I don't know if you're available for the forum tonight before the singer hangout. It might be really late for you, but it's a time to just talk about stuff and how we feel and our culture and everything. But like, this could be a topic that we discuss again, because it, I mean, wow. Yeah. Thank you for yeah. sharing. I just really appreciate it. Yeah. And I'm really glad that you did share it because that's actually the focus kind of of the tapping is I, I kind of end up actually focusing a little bit about the judgment about ourselves. Because really, when it comes down to it, if we don't care what other people think of us, we're not going to have stage fright. It's really like, it's really simple. Like we, we care about what other people think of us and we judge ourselves. So that's what, that's where the stage fright really comes from. Yeah, you know, it, it, I, I think it's a, it's a kind of process that you go through, especially when you go to audition, that you, you're, sometimes I, I'm thinking so much, I hope they like me before I think I'm of, of okay, I have to do, just, just, let's just enjoy, you know this stuff, you prepare it, you're like, yeah. you, you just, they say, how are you? And you just answer with the stuff and say, oh, hey, I'm good, because you, you're so much into it. Mm -hmm. And instead of enjoying now, always thinking about, yes, I rely so much on the judgment of others, also because of the nature of my job, rather than just, hey, you know, just enjoy. And if it, if they're going to, if I'm going to get a contract good, otherwise I will just continue to play this game. Yeah, definitely. Who else can Thanks. relate to what he just said uh -huh. about the profession? Yeah. I'm so curious about anybody else feeling that same way. Yeah. Well. Just want to validate you see even more. Well, Laura, we should get to the tapping. Yeah. What do you say? Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm going to thank you guys so much. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys the tapping points first. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do an exercise and we're going to close our eyes so that we can really focus on our MPI or our most pressing issue so that we can rate it. And then we're gonna get back into the tapping. So that's kind of like how this is gonna this is gonna go, just so you guys know. So the first tapping point that we really focus on is the karate chop point. So this point is kind of it really it you can't do this wrong. Like you can tap with a few fingers, you can tap with one finger. It really doesn't matter as long as you're kind of like hitting these points. And I really encourage you to say and repeat out loud. Um, Christy is actually going to repeat for me, um, I believe. Yes, I will okay, be repeating okay. for you. <laughs> um, so uh, she's going to be my echo. Um, so when we're doing the tapping, I really encourage you to actually say these phrases out loud. So I'll just show you the tapping points at first. 
Um, so the tapping, the first tapping point is the karate chop point, and then the top of the head, the eyebrow point, the sides of the eye. So it's kind of like right where your eyebrows meet at the ends. And then underneath the eyes, so you can kind of feel this like bone here. That's kind of where we're tapping for that. And you can use two fingers, you can use one. It really doesn't matter how you do the tapping, just that you're like hitting the general points. Underneath the nose, the chin point, and then the collarbone point, which you can kind of feel your collarbone like right here. You kind of just go down from there and it's these two points right here. And then underneath the arms. So you can do one side or you can do both sides. So you can do one side like Christy's doing or you can do both sides, but it's right about here under your arms. So what we do is I, I say a phrase and then you just repeat after me as we're doing these points. And what these points do is they send this calming signal to the brain. So we're actually voicing out some, some negative things, some negative thoughts, some criticisms that we're already having in our head, but we're not ingraining it. We're actually allowing it to release because when we're tapping on these points, it actually is sending a calming signal to the brain. So it really helps to lower your stress, to lower your anxiety. Um, so what we're gonna do right now is we're actually gonna close our eyes and we're gonna focus on our MPI or our most pressing issue. So I want you guys to get really comfortable. We're gonna close our eyes for a second and we're gonna take three deep breaths in. So inhale. and exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And one more time, inhale. And exhale. And I want you guys to just get really comfortable. Just really sink into the chair, whatever you're sitting on, and just really kind of tune into how you're feeling in this moment. So we're gonna focus on our MPI or our most pressing issue. And today our most pressing issue is I have stage fright. So on a scale from one to 10, how true does that statement feel? One being, I don't have any stage fright at all. And 10 being, I'm having such extreme stage fright. And remember, this doesn't necessarily have to be that you're performing tomorrow, that you're performing today, that you're getting up in front of people. This could just be, I'm a little bit afraid to sing right now. Or I have, I have fear of what people are gonna think of me, of the judgments, of the criticism, of when I perform. So really just think about that and get your number. And I want you to remember your number because we're gonna take our number from the beginning and then we're gonna rate it afterward. So just really focus on where your number is at right now. And then just check in with your body. How is your body feeling in this moment? Is there any tension or tightness anywhere? Are you experiencing any pain in your body? And you can just rate that on a scale from one to 10 as well. So once you have your numbers, 
we're going to open our eyes and we're going to come back to the room and we're going to begin the tapping. So we always start with a setup statement. So we're going to repeat the setup statement three times and then we're going to go through the rest of the tapping points. So just repeat after me. Um, Christy is going to be my echo to make it kind of e a little bit easier. So um, yeah, so let's let's get let's but do definitely this. repeat with me, everyone. I know you're muted, but be with me. This is very, yeah, I'm nervous to do this in front of everybody. Let's do it. It's okay. You'll do <laughs> you'll do fine. <laughs> Even though I have stage fright. Even though I have stage fright. I completely love and accept myself where I am. I completely love and accept myself where I am. Even though I have so much stage fright. Even though I have so much stage fright. I completely love and accept myself where I am right now. I completely love and accept myself where I am. Even though I have all of this stage fright. Even though I have all of this stage fright. I completely love and accept myself where I am. I completely love and accept myself where I am. I have all of this stage fright right now. I have all of this stage fright right now. I just care so much what people are gonna think of me. I just care so much about what people are gonna think of me. What if they judge me? What if they judge me? What if they make fun of me? What if they make fun of me? What if I make fun of myself? What if I make fun of myself? What if I mess up? What if I mess up? I have all of these thoughts about performing right now. I have all of these thoughts about performing right now. And I'm so scared. And I'm so scared. I'm so critical of myself. I am so critical of myself. I really judge myself a lot. I really judge myself a lot. I'm so afraid of performing in front of people. I'm so afraid of performing in front of other people. What are they gonna think of me? What are they gonna think of me? Are they gonna laugh at me? Are they gonna laugh at me? Maybe it's not gonna be good enough. Maybe it's not gonna be good enough. But I really love performing. But I really love performing. And I love singing. And I love singing. So I want to get over this. So I want to get over this. I really don't want to care what they think of me. I really don't want to care what other people think of me. Because singing is supposed to be fun. Because singing is supposed to be fun. And the world needs to hear my voice. And the world needs to hear my voice. I really want to get over this fear. I really want to get over this fear. So that I can start enjoying singing. So that I can start to enjoy singing. I really don't have to care what they think of me. I don't really have to care what they think of me. That's just their opinion. That's just their opinion. And really, I'm my own worst critic. And really, I'm my, my own worst critic. I judge myself harder than they're gonna judge me. I judge myself harder than they're gonna judge me. So really, I should just get up and do it. So really, I should just get up and do it. Because I love it. Because I love it. And the world needs to hear my voice. And the world needs to hear my voice. Really, it's not as bad as I think it's going to be. Really, it's not as bad as I think it's going to be. And the more I do it, the better I feel. And the more I do it, the better I feel. 
I love singing. I love singing. And the world needs to hear my voice. And the world needs to hear my voice. No matter what they think of me. No matter what they think of me. I'm just going to get up and do it. I'm just going to get up and do it. Because I love singing. Because I love singing. And I love performing. And I love performing. I really am my own worst critic. I really am my worst critic. And I don't have to care what other people think of me. And I don't need to care what other people think of me. I'm doing it because I love it. I'm doing it because I love it. I'm allowing myself to sing because I love to sing. I'm allowing myself to sing because I love to sing. And take a deep breath in. And breathe out. And we're gonna close our eyes again. We're gonna just check in. So on a scale from one to 10, how do you feel now about stage fright? So 10 being you're still feeling really afraid and one being you're not feeling as afraid now. So has your number come down? Because the goal of this is really to bring your number down, even if it was a little bit, even if it went from a 10 to an eight, that's still really great. So just check in with your number and just notice where you're at now. And then check in with your body. Has any of the tension in your body gone away? Are you noticing that your number is lower? And just notice it and observe. And then once you're ready, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. So thank you guys so much. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed that. Um, if you wanna put your numbers in the chat, um, you can write your number, what it was before and what it is now. Um, and the thing about tapping is maybe your number went from like a 10 to an eight, um, but you can continue doing the tapping. Um, like I, I believe uh, Chrissy said, you, we're gonna have the replay, right? So if, if you guys wanna watch the replay, you can do this over and over again. Um, you can do this as many times as you want. And if you're interested in learning more about tapping, um, I've learned pretty much everything from the tappingsolution.com. Um, Nick and Jessica Ortner, they created this tapping solution and they have a Tapping World Summit every year. So it is just, uh, there are so many different things that tapping can be used for. Um, and I actually do a Tapping Tuesday on my Facebook page. So um, I try to do it every Tuesday, Not it's not necessarily every Tuesday, but I try to do come on um, doing Facebook Live every Tuesday on my coaching page on Facebook, Assertive Life Coaching. Um, and I do different topics for um, EFT tapping every week. Um, and I'm actually also offering, I don't know if um, you guys are interested, um, I am uh, accepting clients if you are interested in, to, in going further with EFT tapping. So this was more of like a generalized um, EFT tapping, but um, if you're interested in going more specific with a specific MPI of something that you are going through, um, I do offer EFT tapping sessions. It's $30 for 30 minutes. So if you're interested, I can actually, um, I don't know if you want me to like post the link in the chat. Sure, you can do that if you'd like. Okay, yeah, let absolutely. me. Let me grab that. And while you're doing that, I'd love to hear everybody's experience with that. What was it like? Were you resistant to it? Um, were you very open to it? Um, I'm, I love seeing everyone's numbers here, and I would love to hear um, how you experienced it. I 
Anyone? <laughs> anyone want to go first? I was uh, at first. So I've got gone through a lot of work to get rid I of. I can't see who's baby. talking. <laughs> oh, hold on. I can I can spotlight her. You can okay. hear her though, right? Yeah, I can hear her. I just like I'm okay. like, wait, who's talking? Hi. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I've done a lot of work to get over my stage fright. So initially, I was like, oh, I I I was thinking resistant to working on it in a weird way and then I just went with it and so I didn't post my numbers because I felt but it definitely had a shift like I would say like from a three to a one um, that's really awesome um but you know having said that I'm, I'm talking about decades <laughs> that I worked through in different ways finding the joy again in the moment when I'm singing a song so um, yeah, so I'm intrigued, and I'm, I'm I'm very intrigued to try it with some other things I have. Like I'm starting a new job uh, in about two weeks, and and so I'm very eager to kind of go back and and try it with some of the anxieties I feel about going to work. Yeah, um, that you know that's really awesome. I'm glad that you're definitely interested in learning more about um, tapping. Um, there are so many different tapping scripts. So um, I know the tapping solution, they have a bunch on there. Um, I've also done many um, tapping, tapping Tuesdays, and I've done one specifically on anxiety and um, fear of, of a, an upcoming event or something like that. Um, so the more specific that you get with the EFT tapping, if you wanna focus on your job specifically, the better. So like if you are if you really like focus on that specifically, that would definitely help to lower okay. your stress. I'm excited about being introduced to the technique. So thank you so much. That's okay. awesome. I'm really glad. Yeah. Anybody else like felt resistance during it? I, I just want to share mine really quick. It is very hard for me. I'm very stubborn in my numbers when I've worked with um uh, sorry about the spotlight there, Janice. I kept you up there. Um, I've been very resistant to this EFT tapping. Anytime I do it with Laura, I always end up like one number has has moved. Like <laughs> maybe one, and that's it. But today it was a little bit better. But I'm I'm curious what anybody else felt. <laughs> sorry, the spotlight. I've done are. this before, and I forgot how effective it can be. Yeah, I suffer from panic attack syndrome and other anxieties. <clears throat> and I noticed that I really started feeling much better once I um, used more positive, uh, you know, statements and affirmations on these different points. And um, I guess that's just how I have to train my mind to think all the time is in a more positive way because I am way too self-critical of myself. And I, I'm, I was very open to this, not at all resistant. That's, that's really good. Um, everyone, I think everyone is so critical of themselves. I think that is probably the number one thing to overcome in our life, in our lifetimes. I think that everyone has some sort of um, self-criticism or self-judgment. And um, really, it's, it's really helpful to use tools like this um, to do different healing modalities and different things to really um, start to really kind of unpack that because we always just like take it as like, you know, the thoughts that are in our head, we, te we don't tend to question them. We don't tend to question whether the thought of I'm not good enough is true. And maybe, you know, I'm not gonna get into like childhood trauma or anything, but like there are a lot of things in our childhood that um, could have created these thoughts and these things in our head. Um, so when we do tools like this, this is actually allowing us to question our own thoughts, to question, is this thought true? Just because I'm thinking it doesn't mean, doesn't mean it's true. Um, so things like this, I, I'm, it's so helpful for singers, but for, for everyone. I think everyone can really benefit from this. Yeah. And we're and a lot of us are so perfectionistic too. We have to do it perfect, perfect. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's a huge hindrance. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I I was the same way. I didn't actually perform for the longest time because of perfectionism. Um, I really 
I I had started out performing as a as a kid, and then I went to um, more of the behind the scenes. And because of that, I kind of had this idea that, oh, I'm not a performer. Like I don't like I don't sing in front of people, I don't perform. And it wasn't really until a couple of years ago that I started um, opening up and doing open mic nights that I really started finding my voice again and really realizing that I don't have to be perfect. I don't have to be perfect to perform in front of people. I just have to love it. I just have to love it and do it. After, uh, after getting your exercise, I feel totally, my nervous system is like totally relaxed. I'm David London here in San Francisco. And uh, so thank you so much. That's fantastic, Laura. Oh, you're welcome. I'm so glad. I'm so glad it helped. Do you have any, you know, any specific things that stuck, stood out? Because um, I know that this technique is just very different. Like a lot of a lot of people are very skeptical of it. They're like, what do you mean I tap on my face and I feel better? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's just, you know, it's kind of weird um, when they, when people first try it. So, yeah. Well, they probably want to know the science of it or what, what, how it affects the, the nervous system and the body and the mind. I went through a lot of trauma as a child and, uh, through a lot of parents and alcoholic father. And so, and they always beat into me that I'm a nothing. So it's, I always hear those voices. So something like this really, really made it just, it's amazing. So thank you. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Thank um, you for sharing that. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. yeah. Um, thank you for sharing that experience. Um, I know that, you know, a lot of, a lot of people have um, childhood trauma, whether it's, um, really intense childhood trauma or just things that are kind of in our head that were were not meant to hurt us but they're just things that kind of got ingrained um like i'm not good enough and i'm not like it comes from just um different different places but really doing doing things like this doing tools like this can just like significantly help you kind of unpack and be like, is this, is this true? Or is this just a thought in my head? Um, so yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> and, and this is such an important topic because this is the reason why sometimes we can't make the sounds we wanna make. It's because there's something blocking you neurologically versus anatomically. Like our, our vocal folds, like a lot of people are like, why can't I make the sound? Why can't I do this? They're, there is a lot of stuff backed up behind that, you know, and retraining your brain like this is so important because the truth is you, you are so special. You are so unique. You do deserve to be heard. Even at your least perfection, you know, at the worst you could possibly sound, somebody's going to love your performance. Someone's going to need to hear it. And I always share this with all my singers is that like you're enough right now, not five years from now. You deserve to express your voice and to sing. You shouldn't have to wait. Like, why should you wait mm -hmm. until you're perfect? We want to hear you being vulnerable. That's what the Singer Hangout is tonight. It's not like you're putting on your perfect show. It's actually us saying, come at us with what you're doing right now. Even if it's a song you've never sung before and the spirit moves you to sing that, we want you to do that because that's, that's what should happen. That's how healthy sound making occurs. And um, yeah, I'm just really, really happy all of you were so open to doing this today. I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, I hope that um, I hope that you guys got a lot of benefit out of this. Um, I know for me, EFT tapping has been a huge like part of my life. Like I try to do a little bit every day um, because it's really when you use it. Um, on a regular basis, it really, you really start seeing the effects of it. You start to see um, t patterns in your life change. You start to see that you become less anxious about things. Um, I used tapping. I was tapping before um, I got on here today. I was just like 
before I before I did this because I honestly I have a fear of like public speaking I have a fear of kind of like being in front of people and I have I have stage fright of like <laughs> this kind of stuff um so I was actually doing and using the tools of tapping before I got on here because that is just how powerful it is. That's just how powerful it is to help you. Okay, I'm like, okay, I can calm myself down. I can use these tools. Um, and somebody had mentioned wanting to know um, some of the science behind it. Um, there, if you go on the tapping solution, there actually are a lot, there's a lot of information on there um, that you can find out about, um, about how, it, how it is, like how, um, what really goes on in the brain when you're tapping on these points, because these are, these are ancient like meridians of the body. And that's really why when you're tapping on these points, it stimulates them to really release these, um, release anxiety and release the stress because when you're, it's, it's kind of goes back to the reptilian brain. So when we're in the fight or flight, we're, we're either fight, flight, or freeze. And when we're in those, we can't really think. We actually are, um, like, our brain kind of dumbs itself down because it's really in this, like, should I run, should I, should I fight, should I run, should I um, freeze? And it doesn't know how to then calm itself down. So th that's actually what it's doing while while you're tapping on this points it's saying okay i'm okay in this moment i nothing is is trying to like eat me at, at this moment like nothing like there's no bears that are like coming after me um so really that's kind of in the like layman's terms that's really a little bit of the science behind it thank you for sharing that laura so we have two minutes everyone so please um ask your questions for laura if you have any or share your experience we have two two minutes for that and i just wanted to say um if you guys want to follow me i am on facebook instagram and um, youtube so i post a lot of my tapping videos um, i post um, i do tapping tuesday every uh, on facebook live every tuesday um, and it's all um, Laura Scott, Assertive Life Coach. So if you just look up the um, Laura Scott, Assertive Life Coach, um, though I'm on pretty much like all the platforms. 